All right, I want to do a quick update here of using Z with the AI features, using that with Olama locally. This has changed a bit since my last video. So if you come into Z for the very first time, if you open up the assistant panel, so if I open up the command palette here, look for assistant and show configuration. Over here, you have a series of providers, if you will, or APIs. You can use Z service or Anthropic, or if you keep scrolling down here, eventually you'll come across a section for Olama. So they now have a specific UI feature that allows you to connect to Olama and use it as a model then for your inline assistant, your chat assistant, et cetera. And so as you can see right now, I've got this button here to try to connect. So if I push that, it's not gonna work in my case because I don't have Olama running yet. So if I come over to the command line here, I can run an Olama serve. That'll start up Olama. Come back to Zed then. You can see it still says connect. If I click that button again, there you go. I get a little green dot indicating it's working. And so now if I make a new context here, I can ask it, what is your name? And then I need to come up to the models up here to change the model. So then pick a model here like Llama 3.1, pick the 8 billion parameter model. So all of the models that you have available from Olama, if you scroll down, you can see all of those are listed here. Just like as if you come over to the command line here and run an Olama list here to list out your models, all of these are now available for you to pick from this drop down menu right inside of the context. That way you don't have to modify the configuration and rename the model to be the special GPT-4 model that they used to rely on. Instead, you actually have first class integration with Olama. All right, so now that I've picked that, you can see the model I'm using right here. And then I could ask it, what is your name? I don't think it's gonna answer that well though. And yep, unlike Claude, Llama 3.1 doesn't know its name, but the important thing is we get back a response. And then I'll open up a new context because the chat context is actually included with any inline assist request you make. So if I come over to the code here, if I wanna make a change to the code, I want to select some code to modify. If I hit control enter now, just to confirm the model, you can use this list here. You can hover over it and you can see using Llama 3.1 or you can pick from the list here. Basically the model you pick here is gonna update over here as well. It's all the same model because both the chat and the inline request are both sent to the same backend model. It's all one giant request. That way you can tailor any additional information over here in the chat panel and then make your final request. And I've got a request over here pre-canned just to see if this works. Paste this in here. I have not had that good of luck when it comes to local models. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't, but let's just see what happens here. So submit that. And yeah, in this case, it seems to have messed up the response and it's giving me something invalid. So escape to cancel out of that. Maybe I wanna do this again. And maybe I wanna use a different model, control enter. I can pick from this list then. So maybe I wanna use code gemma, code gemma. Is it code gemma or code gemma? I don't know. Pick this, paste in the same prompt, see if it can do it. Probably not as my guess. Nope, looks like it botched that. Did it even flip things around? Let's see, it's got, well, it didn't even modify the line that I wanted it to modify, so no. So even though you can use Olama when it comes to Z locally, I've had somewhat decent luck using the chat panel, but the inline requests have been hit or a miss. If I undo this and come over to another file, here's an example where I had some good luck with the inline request here. Control enter, and I can ask it to add another. In fact, actually, if I can I just scroll through my history here? Uh, it looks like it only has the last one, so. I wanted to add more prominent Git host to my list here of mapping a domain name to a folder name. Again, this is code Gemma right now, or code Gemma. It's probably code Gemma like Gemini. And as you can see in this case, this actually worked. So yeah, that is the new interface to working with Olama and Zed. It's a first class experience. So check it out and let me know down below in the comments, what do you think about this?